Well, good morning, guys. It's great to be here with you this morning, uh, 10 o'clock Wednesday morning. What a beautiful day. I uh, trust that your day is starting off well. Uh, well, we came off just an amazing weekend. Um, this past weekend, Sunday, was just a, an awesome, awesome day. Uh, had a great time with our drive-in service. If you were there on Easter Sunday, we did a very similar uh, in that people would drive into the parking lot, um, tune in uh, on the radio to a certain frequency, uh, and uh, very much just like the old-fashioned drive-in theater. Uh, we had a platform, Pastor Gilo and the worship team, Pastor John was on stage preaching, and just had a great, great uh, Sunday morning service. So we're gonna be doing that again this Sunday uh, at 11.15. Now, that is in addition to our online service, which will be, as always, at 9.30. Uh, you'll be able to see that. And then uh, for both services, keep in mind that this is Communion Sunday. So uh, you wanna make sure that you have communion elements ready uh, for the online service. And then if you are coming into the drive-in, uh, we will be furnishing those elements to you as you come into the parking lot. So uh, great time, great time ahead of us. I uh, wanna bring your attention to something that Pastor John is going to be sharing on Sunday morning. Uh, he's going to ask all of us to, for the month of May to begin reading in the book of Proverbs. I love that. Proverbs is just so rich with such very uh, practical and clear direction for us. Uh, I've done this for many years. Uh, the book of Proverbs works out perfectly for the month. Uh, if you were on, say, the 6th of May, you go to the 6th chapter of Proverbs and you read that chapter for the day. So I'm giving you a heads up on this in the fact that uh, Sunday will be May 3rd, so the people who are hearing it for the first time, they are already a couple of chapters behind. But you will have uh, already uh, been aware and you're right on target. So, uh, on uh, Friday, begin reading chapter 1 and uh, we're going to just read through the book of Proverbs in May. It's going to be a great, great uh, time of, of being able to minister to you. So. Uh, with all that said, I'd like to pray and uh, we will get into our devotion this morning. Father, I thank you for this opportunity to be with my brothers. I thank you for the privilege, Lord, of spending time with them in this fashion. I pray your encouragement be given to them and strength to be given to them in every area. Lord, let our hearts be open and ready to receive from your word this morning in Jesus' name. Amen. During uh, this time, I just wanted to share with you something which I feel is very much of a priority for us, especially during this pandemic when we have more time available to us. And that is the importance of making prayer a priority. Now, I think we all know that it is a priority to us. Uh, a few weeks ago, I shared um, just kind of my own personal time of prayer and devotion time in the mornings. And uh, so I just wanted to encourage all of you to really, really uh, think about that, especially uh, during this time. I'm sure a lot of you are already in that mode, but maybe just stepping it up just a little bit. So I want to read to you um, in the book of Mark, the first, the first chapter, verse 35. And uh, this is what it gives us. Very early in the morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up left the house and went off to a solitary place where he prayed. Wow, this is such a very practical verse here. And I would say of all the lessons that we can learn from Jesus, uh, no, none are more practical than what we gain from the example that, that he gives us in this specific verse. Uh, the tense of the Greek for prayed implies continuous action, continuous action. So in other words, Jesus didn't just say a prayer and then check it off his list and uh, say, okay, I've got that done and go about his business. No, that, that's not what he did. Uh, he lingered, he, he spent time in prayer. And sometimes we can, we can get into the habit of, uh, just, okay, I've done that, now I'm on to the next thing. And I, I really believe that God wants us to linger and to spend time in prayer with Him. 
Uh, Jesus, instead, he earnestly uh, communed with his Father, and uh, he and he enjoyed that unbroken <clears throat> two-way conversation. Uh, in our studies, we've talked the importance about our prayer time being a dialogue, not just a monologue. In other words, us having a conversation with God, us expressing our needs to Him, and then listening and hear what He is saying to us. And that is so, so important, and of spending that unbroken time with Him. Uh, Jesus, uh, it goes on to say that Jesus rose early. Now, there's a lot to be said for that. Uh, that's what I do. I enjoy the early morning. I enjoy being able to spend that first part of the day uh, with him. Now, some people are different. Some are morning people, some are nighttime people, whatever the case may be. And I've always said, make it what works for you, what is practical for you, <clears throat> and what you will be consistent with. But I will say that there is something very special about that early morning time. Um, it says that uh, Jesus arose early. He spent a long while with the Father. And so I look at that and I say, can we afford to do any less? We need that uninterrupted time before uh, those come to us and begin pulling at us, right? And we all have that. Um, whether it's our wife wanting us to do something or our responsibilities, uh, our obligations, our, our children needing us, whatever the case may be, having that uninterrupted time. Now, if you also go on down into verse 38, uh, we see that God instructed Jesus during the prayer to, quote, go into the next towns that I may preach there. So really what was happening here that God was giving Jesus directions for the day. And I believe that's exactly what God wants to do with us each morning when we spend time with him. He wants to give us the direction for the day. What is it that he would want us to do? Where would he have us to go? What would he have us to say? Uh, it's kind of like the buck private going before the commanding officer and getting his marching orders for the day. Because in doing so, we will be accomplishing what we have been placed here for. And so that is, it's vitally important that we do that and to spend that time. And it's not going to happen if we just uh, kind of go through it as just the exercise. So I'm just encouraging you guys today to just, just, just to really think about this and to, uh, again, make prayer a priority because you really have this opportunity. It's been said um, during this pandemic, and I really believe it's God speaking to us, don't miss it. Don't miss it. Don't miss what he is wanting to say to us. So often it's easy to look at all of the things that are going on and well, we can't do this, we can't go there. And we miss what it is that God is saying to us. So guys, I really encourage you, don't miss it. Make prayer a priority. Spend that time with Him. Draw close to Him and allow Him to minister to you. God bless you guys. Father, bless my brothers today. I pray encouragement upon every one of them. Father, minister to them as only you can. Lord, I pray that as they step up their time in prayer, time in the Word, that they make prayer a priority. Lord, that they will grow in a way that they have never experienced, Father. Bless my brothers here today. I pray all of these things in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. God bless you guys. Love and appreciate every one of you. Look forward to being with you next week. Have a great day.